can be a real grill killer, no matter how much money you spend on it. It blows the flames out, it cools off the grill, and it can ruin your whole day. So what have I told you that I found a grill that not only makes the wind its friend, but laughs at this stuff? <laughs>Here we go, we've got our Airlight Grill. This is everything that comes in the box. It was kind of cumbersome to yank out of there with the package, so I figured I would just start with it laid out. Pretty simple, everything's kind of uh, self-explanatory. I've seen these kind of grills over the last couple of years, and, and what makes them magic, and the reason we talked about the wind and everything, is wind can just ruin a barbecue. If you've been there, you know it. it. It messes with the flames. If you've got a big green egg, it really blows the temperature out of the water when you're trying to maintain it. If you've got a charcoal grill, I mean, it can just be a real mess. So, um, like I said, I've, I've seen these in the past, and their idea has always been good, but they've always been lacking somewhere, whether it's the grill plate or the built-in fan. That's what's special about these, by the way. These have a built-in fan, which I'll show you. It's very cool. We're gonna do a neat little comparison demo so you really understand why it works the way it works. So let me go ahead and pop this grill plate off, just like that. There are a couple of parts on the inside. We're gonna bring it all up. There we go. And go ahead there. What we're going to do is we'll just uh, just do a little pan across so you can see everything that comes in the box. We'll kind of start here. This is the uh, the outer ring. Now uh, this is the first place they got it right. They've got these little air escape holes, and I'll I'll tell you why that's important in a minute here. Uh, this is the grill plate. To me, this is the biggest one. Every one of these that I've seen are lacking in airflow, and what these guys have done is Airlight has uh, made not just one or two rows of, of air holes, but multiple ones leading all the way into the center, and I don't know how close you can get on this, but you can tell, I can see the way it is, because it's concave, when the fat drips down, almost like the Plinko game, remember that? You see, you, go, you win the big prize at the bottom? That's what's gonna happen with the grease. Now, I will tell you, all right, and this is from experience with plates like this, if you put it in like this, you will put your fire out as you continue to use it because then as the, the grease goes in, it just kind of goes towards the center and extinguishes things. So grill plate's fantastic. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Here's your main base. Now, you've got a dial on the front. Now, the dial is kind of different. You don't see that on a lot of grills. What that's gonna do is it's gonna control your fan, all right? So it's battery operated, which makes this like ultra portable, which I like. So, I mean, if you're a, if you're a tailgater, if, 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 if you like, uh, Camping, this is a great size. Even if you're down to a you know the size of a jet ski, you can uh, toss this on the back and you can kind of barbecue anywhere. So there is a battery pack on the bottom, just like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to control and turn on your fan, which is just the coolest thing ever. And I'll tell you why. In just, oh, I hear it. Fantastic. Now th th this is really neat. You'll see what that does when we do our little comparison. Uh, this is a grabber tool. I'll show you that in a second. They included a case. I'm gonna tell you something. If you can find this whole package with a case, whether it's uh, on HSN like I think we're gonna offer, or, or even out there in the marketplace, get it. Because these guys will figure out soon that there's a lot of money to be made in selling the case afterwards. So right now they've included it with it. I would get it quick because I, I would think that in the future they're probably uh, gonna charge a little extra for that. I would. And here is your, uh, your, uh, your charcoal bowl. So the way this goes together, this now, actually I'll use the little grabby tool. Uh, it's not hot yet, but I just want you to see how it works. It's, it's multi-use, so the way it works in the first use is it just kind of uh, uh, hooks on the inside there, and then that way you can set that on top, just like that. Now, this is where you're gonna fill with charcoal. It's an incredibly small amount of charcoal that you need. I'm actually uh, really wowed by it. We're talking like four or five charcoal briquettes for a two hour cook, that's nuts. That's the way the, uh, when, you, when you handle the airflow right, boy, that's, that's what you're able to do. So then this goes on top. Now you have a choice. You can cut down on the smoke on this. You can, um, you, you can you know, kind of uh, infuse different flavors into the food if you want. You can add water kind of in this little well here. You see how it, uh, it's got that little depth there. If you add water, what that'll do is it'll cut down on the smell. If you add uh, like juices or wines or anything like that, you'll actually kind of infuse that flavor into the food. So it's it's a nice added element, especially if you're out camping or tailgating or anything like that. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got that in place. And again, I'll use the little grabber tool. Not that we have to, I just want you to see how it works. We'll, we'll use it more when it's hot. This is where your charcoal goes and that's gonna set right inside like that. So what happens is you put your lighter or starter fluid on the bottom one, you put the charcoal inside and you let everything heat up. And then the grill plate, goes right on top. 
So now, I keep talking about wind. You can see right here, it completely shields the charcoal from the wind, which is huge to me. If you can get the wind out of the equation, then you have a lot more control over the temperature. So no matter what kind of weather you're in, this is gonna do it every time. So whether it's your backyard or tailgating, that's kind of a nice feature to have, especially for the price point these sit at. And what ends up happening is, almost like the bellows on your fireplace. When you turn this fan on and you let it work with the charcoal and the lighter fluid, you can heat up charcoal so fast you can't even believe it. Listen, there's a, a gazillion year old debate, charcoal or gas, charcoal or gas, charcoal or gas. If you take out of the equation the time that it takes with charcoal and the mess and the this and the that, there's no argument, it tastes better. It just tastes better, period. You can't even fight it, right? The nice thing about gas though, it's convenient. You walk out, you turn it on, you cook something, you walk away. Outdoor barbecuing, more or less, right? but, but you get that experience. If you really want the charcoal taste, if you really want grilling, if you really want tailgating, if you really want barbecuing, you need to use charcoal. Whether it's lump, whether it's natural, whether it's the briquettes, it doesn't matter. They just carry a taste and a flavor that gas can't emulate. The problem is it takes too long to heat up. It heats up unevenly. It doesn't last very long. I'm happy to say that the air light has gone down and tick, 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 all of those concerns about charcoal. So when we come back, I'm gonna have a second one out here and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. And you can see what this is gonna do against any other charcoal grill you've ever seen before. So hang tight, I'm gonna go get it and set it up. See you in a minute. All right, so we're back and you can see what we've done here. I have two different stations with the exact same setup on each. This is one I've been using for a while. This is the one we just got here. So the only thing that we're gonna do different is on one of them, I'm gonna turn the fan on and on the other one, I'm not. So if you've worked with charcoal before, you're gonna see the difference right away and it's so dramatic, the, the, the way this can change, the way you grill in the backyard and tailgating, you're not gonna believe it. So here's how this works. Uh, let me start over here. So we've got everything put together right up to the point where we're gonna put in a little bit of a uh, uh, fire starter. So I'm using a gel. Uh, you, can use, you can use whatever you want, I don't really care. <laughs> whatever gets your fire going, that's what you can use. So we'll put the same in both. Now each one of these has eight briquettes in it. Exactly the same, same brand, model, every, you know what? How about we light that first? That's a good idea. All right, so here we go, we're gonna get this one lit. Just like that. Oh, I can feel it. We'll get that one lit, just like that. All right, uh, I like gel. It's. Uh, uh, it burns a little bit longer, it's even. So here, no messing around. We're gonna put that one in right away. We'll put that one in right away. Now here is the difference. This one, we're gonna turn that fan on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a click. Can you hear that? I'll turn it down. And it's gone, I'll do it again. All right, so we know that one's lit. I'm gonna double check on this one just to make sure. There we go. You're all good down there. All right, so guys, we have two grills lit, and here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna hit my stopwatch here, and we're gonna give this five minutes, all right? So this one's got, look at that. You can already see it smoking, I love it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the grill plates on, just like that. We're gonna put the grill plates on, just like that. And I will see you in five minutes, and we'll see if we're ready to cook. If you've ever worked with charcoal before, you're going five minutes, I don't think so. Be right back. All right, so have a look here. We're down to three, two, one. There we go. So we have been going now for five minutes. Again, if you've, if you've ever worked with charcoal before, five minutes is barely enough for the flames to start going down and the coals to start getting ready. So we're gonna prove that right now. And in order to do that, here we go. If that one's, you know what, it's warm. I'm not, I'm not saying it isn't warm. We'll go ahead and we'll put the pork chops on, okay? But there's no, there's no sizzle, we're not ready. I can, I can feel the heat, but there's just nothing, nothing's gonna happen. That's the absence of the wind underneath, the bellows that we talked about, the what makes this special. Always remove the things. <laughs> Little peppers just like that. Now, come on over here, again, same charcoal, same machine, same food, same grill plate, same everything. The only difference is right here. These guys finally got it right. They got the fan right, they got the plate right, they got the airflow right, and here I'm gonna prove it. Just over five minutes, you ready? You've never seen that before in a charcoal grill, period. I'm telling you, I've sold so many grills over the years.
charcoal, gas, uh, uh, natural gas, whatever kind of grill you can think of, <laughs> we've sold. But here's the deal. Nothing's ever, ever, ever heated up that fast and been ready for me to go that fast. To me, that's just incredible. So uh, we've got our food on. We've got things going. We're going to keep an eye on both sides. All right. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll come back in, in a minute or two and we'll check on them. All right. So just... So just like that, we've got this one set. So guys, you see what we've done here, right? We have one grill, two pork chops, avocado, peppers, apple. And we have another grill, two pork chops, avocado, peppers, apples. All right? Same grill plate, same machine, same everything. The only difference is the fan on this one is on, the fan on this one is off. This is your regular charcoal grill. This is the air light experience. So we're going to uh, grab that stopwatch again, and we're going to give it uh, just a few minutes here. I don't want to... Don't want to bore you. Here we go, we'll lock the camera off. Uh, now everybody has my code. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the phone and I'm gonna get that stopwatch up again. Here we go. Somehow it doesn't recognize my fingerprint. Am I who I am? Uh-oh, there we go. All good. Fixed it. All right, have a look here. All right, we're gonna get that stopwatch going. We'll stop it from the last time. Does anybody know how these things work? Anybody? Bedtime? Why are we doing bedtime? <laughs> what the hell's going on? I can't see. Reset. Ready? All right. So the last thing we're going to do is grab the uh, the stopwatch again and find my little start button. And let's just give this a few minutes and we'll check back on these uh, right away. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. You know what I will do? Here. Come on in and have a nice look at the food while I run and get the uh, uh, tongs that I was going to get. There we go. I got some right here. Lovely. All right. Big one. Huh? I brought you I got big, big ones. ones too. All right, here we go. So guys, watch this. I, it's been like, I'm gonna check the timestamp on this. It's been minutes. I mean, it's literally been minutes. You've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those over just like that. Wow, like that's, that's just incredible, guys. There's grill marks, the cooking's starting to happen. I mean, I'm not getting all fancy with this. I'm not adding any uh, sauces or rubs or spices or, or anything like that. I just want you to see how fast this gets going out of the box. And I'll say it one more time, you guys. This is charcoal. Absolutely, this is charcoal. I'll show you another thing here. Um, if you've got a long party going, a long tailgate, a long campground, and you want to uh, got a lot of food to cook, though you, you can get away with about five charcoal briquettes. We've got eight in there. You can get... I don't know, maybe 10, 12 max. But if you've got, uh, you know, three, four hours, a whole afternoon, go and watch this. This, this. this tool is really important. You don't ever want to lose this tool. Remember, that's what's going to take the, uh, the charcoal little bowls out there. And when you've got to get at the charcoal, this will also take your grill plate and get things going. And have a look here. You see how fast we're cooking? Coals aren't even white yet, man. That's how much I love this Airlight grill. We haven't even gotten to the coals to the point where you can start to make grill marks on any other charcoal grill, but in the air light, this is almost done. I've never seen anything like that. And have a look over here. I mean, here we go. It's warm, it's starting to cook. I mean, that's just the deal, you guys. This is how charcoal usually works. That's, I mean, the heat's coming off. The coals are getting hot and the coals are getting ready. I even put extra lighter fluid on there to get things going. You know what, it's just, the, the difference between regular car charcoal and normal and that's just how this grill works you know and what i'm trying to do is hoping to talk long enough that i can actually you know get to cutting this food without uh without stopping the tape but i'll tell you what uh give me two seconds here i'm gonna ra gonna get some knives some forks we'll let this finish off i'll uh stop watch stop watch you, you see how fast it's working we're talking uh five minutes out of the box you're cooking and i'm gonna say another five to seven minutes and you're eating so Hang tight, we'll give this the last couple of minutes. I'll go get some knives and forks and we'll have a peek at it done, okay? All right, so we got five total minutes of cooking time. Add that to the five minute heat up. Uh, a couple of minutes before when we were chatting, you can see how fast this is going here. So I'm gonna grab my tongs. Now remember, these little tongs, these come with it. Really nice for camping, tailgate. If you're on the hill, you'll, 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 you'll use your own. I'm gonna take the uh, apples off. I do like how the plate is non-stick. Easy cleaning, easy food, easy everything. I've got that beautiful char and blister on the pepper. I'm loving that. Now, by the way, once I've got these uh, off here, I want, I want you to see something, okay? Here's one of the reasons it works so well, because one of the things you might have noticed, from the avocado to the apple to the pork chop, the grill marks are even everywhere. They're even here and here and here and here and here. That's because of the genius of the grill plate. You see what they've done here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, high alert. So. This is the genius of the grill plate. Have a look here. 
they've gone and they've they've added all of these air holes all the way along. I mean, it pretty much covers the entire surface, a little flat up top. What that does is, remember, your heat's in the center, so that air is going to pull it. It's going to pull it all the way down the grill plate and out the side holes. That's brilliant. That means that with a tiny little bit of heat here, I can get even heat distribution around the whole grill. Man, I, got, I, I work with $500 grills that can't boast that. So I'm going to go ahead and set these over here, and I'm going to bring this weak stuff over here to get cooking because I am tired of waiting for that to heat up. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, listen, give it about 15 minutes like a normal, uh, a normal grill and you're going to be at the heat where you need to start cooking on that. So it's not like I'm trying to show that this doesn't work without the fan. It works like every other grill without the fan. You'll get a longer burn out of the charcoal, no doubt. So uh, fan on, fan off entirely up to you if you just want to hang out have your nice leisurely grill experience like we do sometimes right then go ahead and just light the charcoal and be happy with it but if you just want to get to the food you want to get cooking you want to be happy you want to get that taste and flavor the, the reason you're sitting down putting this thing together anyway turn that van on have the four AA batteries they last you forever it's worth it you'll love having this you can hear it I'm already cooking this stuff unbelievable so now uh proofs in the pudding all that kind of stuff so let's have a peek here okay not in here we go this is pork, which is normally a very dry meat, but when you can cook it properly and you can cook it evenly with even heat distribution, those are the results that you get every time. You know what I love about pork now too? Remember when we were kids, you had to cook it to within an inch of its life? Well now, you can have pork medium, medium well, I, I still don't do the rare one, but now they, whatever it is they've done, I don't ask questions, I don't wanna know, I'm just enjoying the experience. <laughs> <laughs> but I can have pork that tender that juicy uh, Anywhere I want man tailgating football that whatever it is you do for camping take it on the boat take it on the jet ski Oh, my wife just about got her finger chopped off. Nobody likes that. Look at that you guys. Isn't that beautiful. All right, so Where am I? Oh, hey listen while we're here Always do this always 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 go ahead and put a little bit of that avocado right on the grill Use a spoon for this not a fork lights a lot easier. There we go and then just kind of dig it out like that. And when it comes time for that bite, watch this, I'm gonna, perfect bite time. It's marks on the grill, perfect bite time. I'm gonna take a little bit of my grilled avocado. I'm gonna add that to the apple with that char. I want a little bit of blistered pepper, just like that. A lovely, lovely, lovely chunk of that pork. Guys, there you go. There's your marks on the grill. Perfect bite. I'll see you next time. Airlight Grill, man. Big, big, big thumbs up. Here's to you. Happy eating. Mm. When you see what you can cook, you are going to flip out. Mark Gill, uh, uh, my good friend, is here. Hello, my man. Look at that pork How's chop, it going? bro. How you that's, doing, bro? That's good a pork chop. You. That is fantastic. Yeah, that is Look at how thick that is. No joke, wow. you guys. Listen, there's been a debate for a thousand years. What's better, gas or charcoal? Gas or charcoal? You know what? It's a very clear answer. It's yes. charcoal, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you cook with gas, it's a little faster, it's a little easier, but you're missing something. You're missing that magic Whoa. that turns ordinary meals Whoa. extraordinary. Now, you're seeing our air light in our smoker configuration. We'll talk about that a little bit more. There's innovation in this grill that you've never seen before, and it comes in the way of a fan. Think about the bellows on your, on your fireplace. When right. you hit those bellows, what happens? You introduce oxygen into the fire and the fire swells. Well, here's the problem with charcoal grills. They take too long to light, they take too long to heat up, you're waiting too long for food, and the mess and, and the dirty hands and all this kind of stuff just makes people shy away. But those who know grilling, and those who know charcoal grilling know right. that it's the only way to go because charcoal, you guys, is wood. And fire on wood under food that's what we want to do in that, the backyard. Yeah, and could you imagine doing something like this at the next football game, at the next backyard barbecue? I'm going to tell you something right now. That is a 14 and a half pound brisket. So if you're thinking to yourself, it looks kind of small. I don't know oh, if right. I can cut this. I don't know if I can cut this. You're absolutely wrong, you guys. You can do incredible foods in this that you wouldn't even imagine you could do. So, guys, watch this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and just let the knife 
fall through it. Yeah. This is the kind of food that you can do on this grill with five to seven charcoal briquettes or your natural lump charcoal, however you like to use it. And you can see this, you guys. We have that perfect fat cap. We have that beautiful smoke ring. Yeah. So here's the type of meal that, that you can expect. That doesn't look good at all, does <laughs> Out it? of your air light grill. <laughs> you see the juice oh, coming out of that thing? <laughs> well, you know what? And we've got, you know, we got Ray coming in here. We got barbecue. Yep. You know, Ray's a, a world champion. And totally. A, you know, Hall of Famer, all that stuff. Those guys use charcoal. Absolutely. All right? They're not no, using there's no gas. gas. There's not using no a gas, gas there. grill. And you, because you just don't get flavor. And they, hey, listen, I understand gas grills. I had one for years. It's a very convenient way to cook. For but sure. You're not, you know, it's not real barbecue. You don't smell in the neighborhood when you know somebody's barbecuing, right? Right. Do you ever go to a barbecue restaurant and you have that smell? You're like, oh my God. The place around the so corner, man. Wonderful. Only you know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you get. And, uh, and you can utilize this. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can cook. We have our accessory kits mm -hmm. that are available. So if you want to uh, get the grill, you can do that. It comes with everything that you need. Um, we also have the uh, the uh, completer kit, which comes with the lid, and you get the, right. uh, the, the barbecue brush. As we said, you get the little grill uh, uh, top that, that allows for the uh, heat to come through when you're doing things like shish kebab. What you do there, you sophisticated guy? <laughs> a little bit you're of Cornish hen, hen. And perfectly done. I want you to see this, you guys. Going to Mr. Gills for game hen. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look at this. Uh, Dripping, perfect, absolutely <laughs> gorgeous, you guys. Yeah, that's right. Game hens at my yes. house. <laughs> Game hens at Mark Gill's house. I love it.